Right, I've left Jade behind. Um, <laughs> welcome back to the channel, guys. We are in Chiang Mai uh, for the next couple of weeks, actually, and we are at Bee's Elephant Sanctuary. What does that stand for? Berm and Emily's Elephant Sanctuary. Berm and Emily, em, Emily's, uh, God, I can't even speak today, Elephant Sanctuary. Uh, we are gonna go up to, we're gonna go for a hike in a minute up to the elephants. It's gonna take about two hours. And some breakfast as we're well. gonna have some breakfast now. We we've actually, been up since four. <laughs> oh, we had to go up at 4 30 a.m., didn't we? 3 30. 3 30. Yeah. Oh, 3 30 a.m., we had to get up, and it's a three hour drive over here. Let's see if it's worth it, but I actually think it's gonna be a sick day. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Mm. We've, already met, <laughs> we've already met some dogs, some cats. Loads of dogs. Can't wait. <laughs> Just so breakfast, uh, we've had like eggs, toast, fruit to feed the 5,000, um, tea, coffee, things like that, so that's good. Um, we're oh. <laughs> Wow. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna go and have a look around now. So the elephants are in the enclosure because they're there at night time. They take them in every day um, just for safety. They can't just be left to roam around the land. Yeah, so I didn't even think about that really. I didn't no. even consider that. So I think everywhere we're gonna go, all the other elephant sanctuaries we've got coming up as well, check that out. I think all of the elephants are gonna be kept. It might even be a legal thing. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, but because it's gotta protect the elephants and the local people. So if an elephant were just roaming around the farm, you know, and it's destroy a destroy property or something like that, they can probably actually sue or get the money. So yeah. all of the elephants here, they got three. They're all in enclosures. Um, and then during the day, they're let out to roam, the, roam free. Yeah. So cute. Ah! So many dogs. <laughs> yeah, safe, safety. Hi, on the road. Right, so we're uh, we're on our way. We had to escape the dogs. Basically, if we left, if we left the uh, if we left bees just on foot, then you know, we'd have a massive us. pack of the dogs just follow us, wouldn't they? So we've had, we had to, to run uh, away. We've had to run away. It's not. It's not very. Uh, oh my god, I mean, this. Oh, we just. We just run away. In the back of a truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Decided to go sit down, Dave. Yeah, I thought I was going to fall off, to be fair. <laughs> oh, that, that is outstanding. <laughs> so, we're on a bit of a mission, guys. Gotta be honest. We did some research into trying to find the absolute most ethical. Yeah, the And best. to be honest with you, research what ethical is, right? Because, because it's changed been, in the it last changes, few years, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Like, it, it, ah, oh. Are you okay? Oh, he's, he's gone, he's done him. <gasps> right, we're good. They offered sticks and he they said are, no. Well, you know, it's too hard for a stick. Right, so, we, you know, like last time we came to Chiang Mai, we were feeding the elephants, we were bathing the elephants, we were stroking the elephants, touching them, stuff like that. And so, so I'm gonna be honest, like, and we're here this time and we found out that all of that sort of thing, all of that sort of thing is actually, you shouldn't be doing it. So we went on because a website they're called- they're wild, aren't they? They, they shouldn't yeah. really have any interaction with the people. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be stroking them, touching them, bathing them every day. It's not good for them. So we've, le we've learned that. And we went on the World Animal Protection Organization website. And they have said there is only four elephant sanctuaries in Chiang Mai that adhere to the sort of modern, uh, up-to-date good practices. Good practices. Um, and this is one of them. Bees is one of them. So if you're looking for at like an absolute pinnacle of cool. ethics and things like that, this is the place to go. What, what does that sort of include though? So there's no touching. No touching. At no, all. Yeah, and if even if the elephant comes to you, you have to make a conscious effort to step back. Like you can't be like, oh, the elephant wants to touch me, you know, because obviously they just think you have food. Yeah. <laughs> so of course they're gonna wanna try and touch you with their trunks. But um, yeah, it's just best to stay away. No touching, no bathing. We're going to make food later, We're gonna make food for them, but yeah. not get involved. feed there's, them. There's plenty of ways to get involved still yeah. without actually having to do all the, you know, the touristy things. And um, obviously no riding, but obviously we no all riding. know I that's mean, bad. That's like, we all know that's bad. If, yeah. you're, if you're watching this video and, and you're thinking of riding, do, some, do a little bit of research. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like horses on our website. and things like that. On our website, yeah, just read. <laughs> um, links in the description, everyone. Um, <laughs> but riding's really bad for elephants. They have to be, they have to go undergo, undergo quite a lot of torture really yeah, isn't it yeah, to it is. to be able to hold and not buck people off so do a little bit of research but um this place bees and berm and emily's elephant sanctuary 
just bees, yeah, I'm gonna call it bees from now on, <laughs> uh, is a uh, great place to, I'm um, disappeared, she's gone. gone. <laughs> it's a great place to come, but we're on our way. We got off the, uh, the super safe Jeep ride and we're on our way to where the elephants are gonna be now. Um, so yeah, let's yeah, go check it out. Oh, hello. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> so the elephant just walked past. Um, I think she just likes to kind of walk along on her own, find some food. Apparently she likes tamarind. So um, I think she's just gone to, on the hunt to find some. The mahout is trying to like follow her, but she's up to doing her own thing. Also, what, do you remember her name? What's the elephant's name? Tongdi. Tongdi? Yes, Tongdi. <laughs> this is the old one. I thought that she was going to be very slow. But she just no, she was really fast actually. She just like zoomed on past. <laughs> Yeah, the first person to see the next elephant wins. Wins what? Breakfast in bed. Oh, you make a better breakfast than me, so here we go. I'll order something from my choice. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not going to order, I will order, but you... it's just something a bit better about watching them clearly just be allowed to go where they want. Yeah. Like, we are being led by the elephants, aren't we? I'll speak to them, but because it might be the case that they are, you know, being led in a way. Encouraged. Encouraged. But I'll speak to them because I don't think that's the case. I think they're just allowed to go yeah. where they and want. And they Obviously, know where the food is. Eventually they're going to have to be because they have to come back to the enclosure yeah, think, at night. I think they're clever enough to kind of, you know, they know that. What's going on, Jay? They, <laughs> they're attacking the trees. I don't know if attacking is the right word. It's eating. Eating the trees. Like when, next time you have a meal, I'm going to say you're attacking. attacking yeah, it. I do that sometimes if I'm really hungry. Not really sure what that noise is, but so I need to get your guys, guys, uh, thoughts on something. I saw the elephant first. I've already. But I uh, forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the game. <laughs> yeah, I told you he would cheat. But I saw it first, and then like 30 seconds later, Jade said, "Jade goes, oh, I saw the elephant first," and I was like, oh, "I actually did, but I didn't say anything." I have a feeling what you're going to say. Put in the comments who you think won. But I have a feeling I've lost. <laughs> but I want to know. I want to know, because I, I think I have a case. I told you he would cheat. I clearly won. So make sure you bring waterproof shoes or flip-flops or something you can get wet and dry, because I didn't and I've had to now borrow <laughs> our guide's flip-flops. Got stuck. Stomping through the jungle. <laughs> I survived. Survived. The Bridge of Doom. The Bridge of Doom. Mm. I, I, it was such a. It's not. It's so <laughs> not a bridge. I didn't even realise it was a bridge, let alone a Bridge of Doom. All bridges are bridges of doom. And then I'm going to get stuck. Oh, I see. We were told. We were told if we'd come a couple of days ago, they had a big flood and, and the, the water was really, really high and it brought loads of debris. If you look here, you know it's a hell of a flood when the debris is an island. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks like there's oh an entire gosh, island yeah. with a debris. That whole piece of land has moved. Oh, that's insane. That. So two days ago, we wouldn't be able to do this. Wow. I think they're friends. 
talking to friends. The other one that we saw earlier was more of like a lone wanderer. But these two seem like buddies. How are you enjoying the old hike? Yeah, I mean, I've got a bit of advice. If you are walking along, uh, watch where you step because uh, I. Uh, <laughs> he sank. I sank. Turn I was. Just, I was just walking along. The whole ass. <laughs> Actually, I not was, really your ass. It's just I your legs. Just, but I was just walking along, like, <laughs> and then I just fucking disappeared one meter into the ground. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to check out. I am. Everyone else has stayed down there. I'm going to go check out this bat cave. There's a bat cave. Why wouldn't you check out a bat cave? Look at this thing. You've got yellow warning tape, and they say there's a bat cave. Like, obviously, I want to check it out. It's going to get dark. You'll still be able to hear me. Cool. Lots of bats, guys. Wow. So I went to the bat cave and as you can see, I saw some bats, but you start to realize that inside a bat a cave like that, there shouldn't be this thick of compost. And you kind of realize it's not compost. It's just years and years of cat poo, bat poo, not cat poo. So uh, pretty grim, but highly recommended. You see, you're not going to get this riding elephants, guys. Being taught how to blow bubbles with nature. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bees was founded, obviously, by Berm and Emily. Uh, back in 2012. It says 2011 on their website, but Burnham said 2012 to us today. And um, it was, she's always fallen over. She, it was started because uh, Emily came over here and she saw all the tourism, she saw the elephants, um, and she was kind of like, I need to do something. And she also met Burnham at that time as well. Romantic. And uh, cut a long story short there. They decided to help them and create a nice, safe space for them, basically. Exactly. Which they have done. Exactly. And what, one of the things about elephant sanctuaries, there's a weird one. It's because elephants here are cattle, if you own an elephant, they have the same rights as a cow. Mm. So you can't just, there's no animal welfare, like you can't save them, you can't take them, yeah. and things like that. So if someone owns one, you have to pay them. And they can so, do what they want to it. Yeah, well. so if you, see, if you see an elephant being abused or something like that, you have to buy it. And they're extremely expensive. We're talking like 30 mm. to 50 thousand dollars. Yeah. And what does that do? So where does that money go? So it's a difficult one. So if you buy an elephant for that amount of money, that person might then just invest in a new elephant and, it, and it's like a cycle. You're paying for that system. So there's, but there's also renting that we learned about here. You can actually rent an elephant. So a family that would use it for tourist purposes or I say illegal logging or something, they can, you can rent it off them. So that means that family is making an income off that elephant. So they, um, but they don't have enough money to buy a new elephant. So yeah, they're, they're, it's just they're a nice salary. The money, they're making they the money live. out of their property and there's no abuse happening. So this is what these, the new, the, 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 the elephant sanctuaries that are accredited, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to find new ways to try and end the cycle once and for all. Mm. And things like renting and that sort of thing, that's what's quite important here at a place like Bees. Oh, wow. Huh. My gosh. I thought we were in the riverbed. Yeah. This whole trip. I think we're having lunch now. Ooh, I forgot about lunch. What are we, we having? We fell, a, we fell a bit behind, so I can see them all sitting in the... Uh... <laughs> Finished their snacks. <laughs> no, I want my snacks. Aww. I've got pretty big feet, but... <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't really compare, does it? <laughs> I literally said I was going to come in here and I was going to get wet, but I was going to clean, clean off my... Uh, 
shorts a bit. And this is what I get. No joke. Look at this. Oh my god. How cool is this? That's pretty cool, but don't get swept away. Really shallow. I'm sat on a swing in northern Thailand with my, with elephants and this is sick. Sometimes you just got to stop and realise where you are. <laughs> One of the uh, some some of you might be might be thinking why are they being herded? We said earlier that. Um, they're allowed to go wherever they want. Uh, obviously, you can see that they have a mahout with them, and it, you know it looks like they're being herded. Well, that's because they have land here, and as I said earlier, they're treated like cattle, so they're not allowed to stray onto other people's land. So they can only be as free as you have land available. They can't go to neighbouring land. So sometimes they have to be like, no, you can't go this way. So you might see in the video a little bit of like, nah, come on this way, this way, but it's only when they get close to the border and they're just reminded they're not allowed to cross it. Whee! <laughs> Are you five again? I can't swing the legs. <laughs> Your massive legs and feet. So there are a couple of different packages you can do, a couple of different programs at bees. You can do yeah. the one day, which is what we're doing, but I don't really recommend it. We don't really no. recommend it. And, and they don't either because you've got a three and a half hour drive. You have to make your own, get your own transport yeah. to come here. Three and a half hour drive. You spend all day, like it's a fantastic day. And then a three and a half hour drive back. And it's not um, just that. The vast amount of your cost, because bees is not, I wouldn't say expensive. No. The vast amount of the cost that you're putting into it is your transport from Chiang Mai. So if you're going to do it, and I highly recommend you do come here. We've had an absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic day. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do it, you might as well come for a bit longer. So that's I make the, the second, most of it, yeah. The second package comes in, uh, which is... Three nights, four days. Yeah, and that's the one we it, recommend yeah. because We recommend it, they recommend it as well. Yeah. You get to know the elephants, you get to know the routine, you get to be a bit more hands-on with food and cleaning their poo. And I think that'd be fun. <laughs> Jade thinks that's a bit of a selling point, but yeah. <laughs> she's a bit weird. But uh, Unique. Yeah, I suppose it is. You're getting involved more. Yeah, yeah. For three days... You leave, and yeah, you've really got involved. It's a hundred percent the best one to do. Yeah, they There's, also do a week. Yeah, which is know. just you know longer. Obviously, it's great. Just a bit more expensive. So if you still, so if you are coming to Thailand really to really get involved in elephants, the week one is a good option. Yeah, if that's the reason you're coming to Thailand, perhaps. Yeah, but but for most, hundred percent the three night four day. <laughs> that was it was so unsuccessful, wasn't it? Right, so we've, we've just got back. We're just tired, as you can tell. Hell, it was a hell of a walk. <laughs> hell of a walk. Yeah. It's, uh, but it, it's been absolutely amazing, it hasn't it? It's been such a good day. Like, we are buzzing up. We were just like, yeah. The, the elephant experiences we had before were like we're good. safaris and yeah, day trips of other places. But, and a safari is um, good because they're wild. If you can go on a safari, go on a safari. <laughs> <laughs> if, you go, if you can go on a safari, get out, get out of here, get out of here, go on a, uh, go on a safari. But, uh, but it was just so nice because it, it was much more personal, like you were literally walking with the elephants, following them. If they wanted to go in the water, we went in the water, yeah. well, they could just go in the water. You know, we were just at their pace the whole time. Um, it was sick. It, like, bees, it was so bees is sick. Yeah. We highly recommend it. They have get down. We highly recommend bees, 100%. Yeah, you've you got to come here if, if, if you're in Chiang Mai. We are going to go see some other elephant, elephant sanctuaries, so stay tuned for some more videos. They might, and, and if there already is one, it will be up here now. 
Um, <laughs> and, uh, and if this video has been helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I didn't read anything at the end, but I just smiled. <laughs> she just smiled. Like, <laughs> and, like and subscribe. <laughs>